Mastering irregular adjectives and adverbs. Checking your knowledge. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into a review and assessment of a particularly tricky topic in English language learning. Irregular adjectives and adverbs. You've learned so much already, and now it's time to see how well you're applying that knowledge. Remember, regular adjectives and adverbs have clear rules. We usually add li to convert an adjective into an adverb. But the English language loves exceptions, and that's where irregular adjectives and adverbs come in. They don't follow the general li rule. For instance, hard is both an adjective and an adverb, while good as an adjective becomes well as an adverb. They're regular, they're tricky, and they're what we're focusing on today. This is where you take control. Let's assess how well you've understood and can apply your knowledge of irregular adjectives and adverbs. Here are some exercises. 1. Fill in the blanks with suitable irregular adverbs. 2. She plays the piano underscore underscore underscore. 3. He studied underscore 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 for his test. 4. Convert the adjectives into adverbs. 5. Fast underscore underscore underscore. 6. Straight underscore underscore underscore. These exercises are just the beginning, but they're a great way to check your understanding. Common mistakes are a fantastic learning tool. Let's review some that people often make with irregular adverbs and adjectives. For instance, confusing, good, adjective, with, well, adverb, is a classic mistake. Incorrect, he plays piano good. Correct, he plays piano well. Being aware of such common errors can help you avoid them in your own English journey. Remember, Mastering irregular adjectives and adverbs, like any aspect of language learning, requires practice. Keep using them in sentences, keep making mistakes, and keep learning from those mistakes. And that's a wrap on our review and assessment of irregular adjectives and adverbs. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how well you're doing and where to focus your practice. Remember, the key to mastering any language is consistent practice and patience. Good luck, and happy learning!